It's Saturday, and uh, we're going to take, me and Jolene are going to take the day off, but I'm up here first thing in the morning. I always like coming in, checking out the cars, see what they look like, you know. I'm, I'm always looking on them or looking at them and, and seeing things or whatever. The 57 Chevy hubcaps were sitting over there, and I kept taking a look at them, kept looking at them, and I've found some bullets that we've bought. I think we bought them from Night Prowlers, and it's fun to see what they look like with with bullets on them. You can get them bigger like that. You can get bigger ones like that on there. They're, they're original hubcaps that way. But you can acquire these. They have a bolt or a bolt goes up to the middle of them. And you can drill a hole and you can bolt them on. But as, a, as I'm seeing right now, them ones there would look nice on them hubcaps. It's funny, when you put that on there, you would never know what that hubcap was. <laughs> you would never know what it was. You can put a bigger bullet on it. If you're more in charge and you want a, a little bit more room from people, you know, as I put them on there, you can see how fun it is to put a cap up and, and realize what it could look like or what it could not look like. Not sure if I'm going to put fender skirts on this one or not. I have no idea yet. We'll go with it as it goes. Now, there's a lot of work that has to be done to the 40, if you cannot tell. There's a lot of work that has to be done, a lot of welding. And that's why these cars, to me, I think are so valuable because the amount of work that someone has to do. If you see a custom car, or you can tell it's custom and the roof has been chopped and it has all the garnish moldings on it, um, everything is nice and pretty, you can imagine how many hours was spent making that car look that way. And to me, that's how you know when something's worth something, is the time that someone has invested to make it look that way. A lot of time. Um, like the older cars we see in the museums and stuff, the amount of time for someone to make the hinges and the door locks and the, just the, the moldings and the wood tells you how expensive that car really is. So if you see a really nice custom, and you can tell by your eye if it's really nice, if how, bright, how the bright work is, how the paint work is, what it looks like, does it look nice, is everything fitting? And that means time. And when that time is put in, to me, that shows how much it's worth. It's how much it's worth. But it's fun to customize things and put things on to see what they're going to look like when you're going to build your car, you know? 57 Chevy hubcaps, but you wouldn't think it. But that, now, now, that's a custom hubcap. And we really haven't done much but play with things that we know that we can use or have or have to use. And as we get going, I'm playing with that there. And I'm always riddling through my mind about what I'm going to do with the 305 when I put it in there. You know, people, I ah, don't like that, I don't like that. But this is what I'm going to do. Um, we've done a little more picking. Uh, we've picked this a lot earlier. We've got this, we acquired this quite a long time ago, but we got it, I think, on a good deal because someone else has bought it at Carlisle and shipped it here and has had it in their shop for, say, 10, 5, 10 years. And We've got it, you know, at a, re at a real good price. I'm happy with it, but it's a brand new, a brand new uh, three-deuce intake and carburation system for a, three, for a small block Chev. Um, what it has is it's got the little spout on the front that puts the oil in. It tells you that it's older, you know, if you have the spout in the front, it shows that it's older. The engine, you know, in the 60s. So we'll probably put this on the 305. And then we'll put some Oldsmobile Rocket valve pan covers on it. And then we'll paint it green and make it look like an... Wash yourself, sweetheart. We'll make it look like an Oldsmobile engine in the 40 Plymouth. We've got the Oldsmobile headlights. We have... Uh, we're going to put the Oldsmobile dash in it. So why would we not spice her up and spend the money to make it look good the other way? So we're going to use that intake probably. Um, we're going to make it look like a Oldsmobile Rocket engine. We'll put the intake on it, uh, we'll put the valve pan covers on it, whatever way we do, whatever we have to do to make it work, we'll make it work, we'll paint it green, we'll have the Oldsmobile headlights and the dash, and it'll just say someone must have had a 53 Oldsmobile back in the day, and they used it to customize their car because there's the dash, there's the headlight, and there's the engine. And that's what we'll do, we'll have fun with it. And when I'm done with it, I will be very happy with it. On Jolene's car there, she's very happy that she's got her engine, She's rocking and rolling, going her way, and, I, and I'm going my way. And when you're building your car, make sure you go your way. Do not, do not 
do what somebody else tells you to do. Do it your way. If you had, the, your, if you had a choice in life, which way would you do it? <laughs> I'm sure that you would do it your way. I'm hoping that you would. Do not let anybody cater you in any way. Make sure you stay true to yourself. Whether you're a monkey or you're an elephant, that's who you are. Be happy with it. Be satisfied. And, um, yeah, it, it's much better when you're satisfied with what you're doing and when you're doing it your way. And that's the way I'm going to do it. That's the way I think I'm going to do it. And Jolene's going to do hers her way. And that way there, everybody's happy in the house, you know. Everybody's happy. But it's a good Saturday. And I hope that everybody that gets to work on their cars on the weekends um, gets lots done. And I hope I've motivated you to get some done on your car. Like people, when they post their pictures on their cars, it motivates me to get mine done. I'm up here right now for motivation, and uh, tomorrow, if you follow us tomorrow, which 